Good morning and welcome to The Art of Composition. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. I thought I would do a video lecture today and talk a little bit about post-processing. And it's something that I haven't really talked about in the past. The only thing I've ever really talked about is how photographers today are obsessed with Lightroom and Photoshop. All they talk about is all the different filters and all the different effects. And it goes on and on forever. And these photographers that talk about this stuff they have lost sight of what it means to create a fine art print. And when I say fine art print, I'm not talking about composition. I'm talking about the technical print, what Ansel Adams would strive for in his photography. So I feel it's appropriate to talk about his book, The Print. And I do recommend all of his books for the photographer, the camera, the negative, and the print. And I also recommend... The Essence of Photography by Bruce Barnbaum, as well as The Art of Photography is Bruce Barnbaum, because he studied with Ansel Adams, and I think those are the best series of photography books available. And those books, in combination with my teachings on composition, should give the photographer an idea of what it means to create a true work of art. But today I'm simply going to talk about the technical aspects of photography, because like I said, Photographers today, they are obsessed with all the gizmos and gadgets in Lightroom, and they have just completely lost sight of what it means to create a fine art print. And what's interesting, I was looking through Ansel Adams' book the other day. The print, I think it's only about 190 pages, and he talks a lot about darkroom setup and all the stuff that really doesn't so much apply today, but he also talks about the zone system and how to create a fine art print. And I did a video lecture, and I was talking about how a lot of photographers, they don't print their images down far enough. They don't, they don't print them deep enough. So I thought I would show what I mean by selecting a few images from this book and demonstrate that. So let me do that now. This is a photograph by Ansel Adams. It's a rather simple photograph. I'm not crazy about Ansel Adams' compositions. For me, they're a bit flat. I don't find them all that interesting, but we're not talking about that today. Something worth mentioning. But if you look at this photograph, I see this a lot by other photographers when they're showing their images. I've had photographers send me images that look like this. You know, it's, it's, look, it's an average exposure. The exposure looks fine, but they're not printing for the highlight detail, which is right here, okay? And then Ansel Adams talks about this a lot. He prints his highlights so that they have detail. And if you look at the final image, which is right here, you can tell he is bringing all those values down. So now you have really good highlight detail in the wood. You can see the texture, but it dramatically enhances the photograph. And the other concept I want to talk about today is dodging and burning. In the old days of darkroom work, you would use dodging and burning to lighten up specific areas in a print or darken specific areas in a print. Dodging, you would lighten an area, and if you were burning, you were giving the print more light to make an area darker. And the next photograph I'm going to show is one of Ansel Adams, and he is... He shows you in the book how he's getting this final print. And let me just... Oh, that's okay. Let me bring up his notes on that. In his notes, he has here a simple diagram of what he is doing in the darkroom with this photograph that I just showed you. He has either a minus symbol with a number next to it or a plus. The minus means he is dodging. The plus means he's burning in. So in this photograph, he is dodging this area here, here two seconds. He's burning in the edge three seconds here. He's burning in this edge one second here. And then he's showing you how he's burning the edges on the left and the right by two seconds. He is coming in from the corner with four extra seconds and then he's fading out using two. He's burning in the plus four, plus two. And then here, he's taking a board and he's bending the board to create a curve here and he's burning down three more seconds. Right here, then he's going back and he's burning down 10 seconds, making it darker. Again, burning is making it darker. And then he's using a cardboard, piece of cardboard with a hole in it and burning it down for an additional 10 seconds. 
And the same thing here. He's, he has a hole in a card piece of cardboard. He's holding up to the enlarger lens and he's burning in for an additional 10 seconds of exposure. And what he is doing, he is dodging and burning. And he's ending up with a photograph like this. And my point is today is it doesn't take a lot to create a fine art print. You should not be spending all your time dealing with filters and all the other stuff in Photoshop or Lightroom. You can do a lot with the basic dodging and burning tools. And this is what I do in my own photography. I don't use filters and all that stuff. I just don't, I don't find a need for it because I have a good exposure and then I just use the dodging and burning tools to do what Ansel Adams did. And my view on this is if it's good enough for Ansel Adams, it's good enough for you or me because Ansel Adams was a master darkroom technician. And I've spent a lot of years back in the 80s and 90s doing darkroom work. And I can tell you from that experience, it has helped me using Lightroom and Photoshop, but I don't go crazy with it because it's not necessary. If you take this stuff too far, you have lost sight of what you are what you were visualizing to begin with. And Anto Adams does talk about visualization in this book as well as the first book, The Camera. Don't lose sight of why you're using Lightroom and Photoshop. They should be the digital equivalent of what Ansel Adams did in the darkroom. And if you look at what he's doing here, it's really not all that complex compared to what photographers are doing now in Lightroom. They go crazy. It doesn't make any sense. It's, you know, as Adam Morelli once said, it's plastic surgery. And I do agree with him on that. You are taking it to the extreme and it's not necessary. Like I said, if Ansel Adams can produce a fine art print using dodging and burning, and some selenium toning, which I haven't talked about in this video, but all that means is you're changing the actual tone of the print. And that was, I used to use that in the old days. It was called selenium toner. And depending on how you diluted the solution, you would either get a cold tone print or a warm tone print, sepia or cold tone. And you can easily apply that with Lightroom using you know, a few sliders. You don't have to go crazy with this stuff. So hopefully this makes sense and you're not wasting a lot of time in Lightroom when you don't have to. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it, as always.